Ah, another sunrise and darkness falls. Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 41 of our Seven Days to Die series here in Darkness Falls. Did literally nothing besides just can't hang out last night. Now, I did go through and I buy, I buy, I bought like two or three schematics he had. He, I think he had two for the same thing. Scrapped them down to get the skill notes. And I know we have a chunk at the house as well. So we should technically be able to make the next skill class that we need. And we basically just need to get home. Initially, what I'd planned on doing, just for full disclosure, I was going to leave here, swing by the reward area, just to kind of see what it's like, because I'm curious, on my way home. But as you can see, it is not on the way anywhere. So, we are not going to be doing that. I think I have gas in the bike. Uh, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just to make sure, because you know the birds are going to be out again. That is our bane of our existence, is those stupid damn birds. If they keep coming at me like this, I'm going to have to revamp the merch. Instead of just saying stupid birds, I'm going to have to say stupid and then some expletives and birds. and <laughs> It's going to be smaller text because it's going to be a lot more on the screen. <laughs> or a lot more text on there if all I actually want to say about them stupid birds. But anyway, we got a little bit of a drive. Turn this quest in to the trader and see maybe he'll give us something good. Uh, Owen's jumping on the... Abandoned car for some reason. Hey, you do you. Man, maybe where he's working on this parkour. I don't know. Hang on. We're going to park it right here. Does this road go... No. Our shortcut's going to be just basically right across the forest like it has been. Last time wasn't too bad. So maybe we'll get lucky. But let's just uh, let's get to moving and see if we can't find a nice, safe, easy, fast way home. Not too big a deal. Man, that's a that's a bit of a trek still. Let me see. I think I kind of went... Yep, yeah, I can kind of veered off a little bit. I was trying to go around some of the mountains on my way over here. The hard jutting things is hard to get up and down, but I think I just went to a different set, basically. Looking for something special? Um, I mean, maybe. I guess it just depends what you're offering. Let's see. Generic schematics pro be good. Everything else I don't really need. You're not this... But now I'm going to take the gemer generic schematics... All right, what kind of jobs do you have on you? They have a, oh, let me see. Clear zombies, those aren't too bad. Fetch, 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 fetch. Most of these aren't too far from here. Two, 467 South, that one's not too bad. This one's clear zombies. That was, let's see where that one's going to put it here. The, ga the gas station? Did we not just do the gas? Did we not literally just do this gas station like two episodes ago? I mean, yeah. He's not really varying it up when it comes to jobs anymore. He's just like, hey, by the way, you know that gas station you were literally just at? I'm sorry to tell you, man, but, well, it's full of zombies again, so I'm going to have to have you scuttle on down the road and fix it again because I'm stuck doing nothing. All right, well, let's see here. We need to get a little bit of stuff here. Okay, we got some concrete. I don't have any crushed sand on me. I need that to be able to make. Concrete mix. Now, I can make crushed sand with some stones. Let me see. I could probably do crushed sand. How much can I make? Not that much. Let's see. How about we do 1,000? Because that won't take but just a few moments. We'll get you going here. And then the three of these combined, we can make a decent chunk of concrete. First thing is we got to do before we do anything else is I want to go ahead and get the base all tidied up. Uh, let me close that so I don't accidentally close it in my face. Just so if things go awry I uh, and I lose track of what day I'm on, then I know when the horde's coming. I'm like, oh, crap, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's the other schematic I bought and forgot to scrap. Okay, so that's going to put us at 117. That's nice. All right, let me drop off a couple things real quick. Oh, also, while I'm here, I think I have enough. If I take, let's see, there's the P225 receiver. Bam, 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 and bam. We should have what we need to be able to make a P225 pistol. And if I make this one, it may give me a level 51, which is, will pretty much double what that is. So it wouldn't hurt to have that. 
Uh, let's see, go ahead and get you cranking out over here. And you know, I think I kind of want to make another silencer mod for the thingy-majig. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got some unwanted guests over here like we normally do. Hey! You could at least come around to the front door, Owen. Come on, don't be rude, man. You moron. Did you bring any of your stupid friends with you? Okay. So what I may end up doing, and maybe get to it today, which we'll is kind of see how much time I have and if I remember, is to make a, um, a silencer for the marksman rifle. Or not the marksman rifle, the Winchester. Put a silencer on there and a scope on there, and that becomes quite the beast. Okay, so we got 138 of that thing. That's going to be great. I didn't need the grip, and I have some concrete. Uh, let's see, I forgot to put these in there. Okay, inventory is cleared. Okay. All right, now what I need is to go ahead and grab my nail gun. I'll go grab you real quick. See how much iron we have as well. If I could remember to grab everything all at one time, that'd just be fantastic. But let's be realistic here. I mean, come on. Oh, there's some concrete mixed right in there too. And what I am going to try to do, if I can remember, let me see, go ahead and grab you out of here. And let's see you and you. Can make some more concrete mix while you're chugging away, doing your thing. Let me see, I'm put you up in here. That's just that's just something cathartic about that, you know? Just the way it's going, kachoo, 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 kachoo. I don't know. Something about it is cool. And where did I get the meat from? I don't even know. That just, oh, never mind. I know where it was at. I had bought that from the trader. Okay, <laughs> I was like, just random meat showing up in my inventory. Kind of odd, but okie dokie. Okay, so we need to top off a few things here that got damaged in the last horde because we've literally not done anything to those since they, you know, since the end of that horde. Basic level repairs first, and then I'll go through and see what I can upgrade fully to a little bit, you know, better concrete, especially things like that. I can go ahead and get fully upgraded. And some of these, if I can get, you know, like that, um, get fully upgraded to like reinforced concrete, that would be even better. And uh, I want to put some plates on the outside of each one of these. That one needs a little bit more. Can I go ahead and get you all the way up here? Might as well, right? Boom, get you upgraded a little bit more. So if we have any more exploders, then we'll be okay. And of course, what I need to do... And here's something... I haven't done this. Well, let me finish upgrading this little bit right inside here. I'm trying to make sure the inside of this base is a little bit more uh, secure than it was well prior to that horde over there because middle of the night once they lost the ability to get directly to me they decided to start tunneling in from underneath like i assumed they would which is why i built it as a you know a uh, five by five tower here so i'd at least have some stability in case they went in realistically it'd be better for me to have something underneath besides just dirt but uh i want to say that's a problem for future cap but you know, future cap's kind of here, kind of now. Let me see. I'll go ahead and put a couple more frames in here. So what I keep thinking I probably should do is use the rebar frames. But, hang on. I don't. If I do that, hang on. Let me get you over quick. I can't upgrade that one if I put a frame there first. Oh, there's a lot of shooting going on. I'm going to make sure there's not a horde wandering in real quick while I'm trying to do basic level repairs. And these idiots show me like, ta-da, we got a surprise for you. Yeah, I need to get all of this outside level up here. Especially all this places where it's just wood. That ain't going to fly. The last horde was, it, it was okay. We had, the bears definitely sucked because they just took so much work to actually kill. Go ahead and top you up real quick. All right, let me finish filling this in real quick. All right, that's at least the base level of this thing all the way around. Uh, we'll double check. I thought I saw a little cracked brick right there. We go, just to kind of top that off, and a little bit of one right there too. Okay, so we should have. We're we're still doing okay on cobblestone, and we got quite a bit of concrete, so we could do some more upgrades, which we should probably do, especially to these down here, the supports that are holding this thing up all together. And what I really need to do is put like an entire moat of concrete all the way around this thing here. Let me go ahead and just do this fully upgrade 
just make this whole little area over here a straight beast of a thing to have to deal with. Okay, so that can't be upgraded anymore without steel. We can get the rest of this. I want to make sure I do from the outside in. That way there's not any kind of weird weight discrepancies accidentally being thrown around. Alright, that should, you know, go ahead and upgrade you a little bit more just in case. There we go. Alright, that looks good. That looks good, at least to start with. That's pretty decent. Um, we'll get the bars and stuff reinforced as we have going on here, and I'll probably put some more. I don't have any of my forged iron with me now. Let's see, go ahead and top you off a little bit. Make sure all the rest of this is kind of healed up just a little bit, just so, you know, again, if I lose track of the day, basically, and things come terribly running in here at me, I can quickly slam the door and call it good. All right, I think that's okay. Let me double check these. A few little top-offs here and there. I do want to try and get the shotgun turret set up. Maybe not particularly this episode. Okay. I think that's okay. I, if I hadn't already put so much work into the rooftop there, I would probably... Ow! I would probably at least spend some time uh, putting some bars in right there. But as of right now, that's not something that I remember to do. Okay, so if we make some plates... Uh, well, here, let's do it like that. Wood plate. How about we'll make... We'll make 30. That's not too much. I can get these started. It won't take very long to get going. Let's see. I'm going to move you out of the way and put you right down there. So if you start off and you put the on face like this right there, you can go bam like that all the way around on all of these blocks basically and it adds extra durability. Now, of course, if they're side by side, you can't do those, but that's okay. I'm just trying to put it on the places where they're going to run onto them the most. And that way, and I can get these all upgraded. And so it adds one extra layer of protection all the way around. So if you did not know that, this is a kind of a smart thing you can do with your base. It just adds some extra durability because you get these fully upgraded and this will be the first thing that they hit beforehand. Now, I'm you can't have one on both sides of this, so it's just not going to work out because they occupy the exact same block, you know. All right, so that should be okay on there. We still got how many more we got crafting? Just the last two here. Okay, I need. Hello. Thought I heard a groan or a grunt over here. Okay, so I need to make about ten more. Uh, we'll do twelve more. That should be okay. Just to be able to make it around. Nope. What? Oh, okay. I was about to say what? I just had you. All right, so get you around like this. Outside levels for sure, and then we'll worry about the inside ones here in just a minute. All right, so I guess we could do like that and like that. It's sort of, kind of, you know what I mean. And that should be all right. Now we just got to get all those upgraded. We can do some more around the outside of that one. But so you can upgrade all of these all the way to cobblestone and add just an extra layer of defense all the way around there. So let me get these upgraded real quick. Oh, no. I'm out of wood, and I'm a little bit hungry. Let's see, I got some bacon and eggs here. Can eat a couple of these, get those to go back up a little bit more. Not too big deal. I'm not out of wood. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone. That's okay. I can make some more cobblestone, I think, over here in the cement mixer. So we can get the rest of these plates upgraded. All right, so cobblestone I can make just within what I actually have here. Let me see. I can't remember exactly all I need. Cobblestone rocks. I need clay and stone. Okay, wait, did I put any clay in here? I didn't. I've got plenty of clay, though. Right all up in here. Got a full stack of it. Cobblestone. All right, so we can probably make another 200 of that. Won't take very long. Can get a little stash of it going. Get the rest of these plates upgraded. And that base is looking good already. It's looking really good. Having this extra layer all the way around here in the reinforced concrete should definitely make a huge difference when it comes to the horde, especially when we have the things that explode. Uh, the dogs and the exploding cops and stuff, those are definitely going to be the biggest issue we have to deal with those. If we can keep them funneling in weird patterns like we did last time, basically, um, where they have to stop and jump and stop and jump like that, it makes them way more easy to deal with. Now, with Sledgy over here, see, I can get a little bit closer, I mean, a little bit further away, and he actually works now. Last time, the only thing that made it up here at all was the um, Night Stalkers. And although he will target them, when they hit them, they don't have any ragball or... Uh, ragball? <laughs> Ragdoll? 
or knockback effects, and so it uh, it didn't do anything. It you know did a little bit of damage, but that was it. Ragball. <laughs> that's just that's just terrible. That's freaking funny though. All right, so let me see. I'm not gonna have. I don't think it finished crafting enough to do all these real quick. Like, no, nope. we're almost there. We got just a few more here. And then, of course, we'll be doing spikes and barbed wire and stuff all the way around there as well. But what I really need to do, honestly, is I need to... I need to have... You either need to have, like, three blocks up above each one of these or none at all. But by having the bridge on here, I don't want them to have any more targets. So, I don't know. I may have to try and shrink this up a bit. Did I forget to... Oh, it's just the ground over there. Um, because when the three, from what I've been told and what I've seen, when the three high tall idiots show up, like, um, the behemoth sort of creatures, demons, those sort of things, that they can make it under a three block thing, but if they can't, they just run right into that and beat on it. So it's like either three blocks or not at all, that sort of thing. Okay. I think that's going to be okay for now. How much concrete do we have on us? We got 103, so we could definitely do some upgrades to this all the way around here. Okay, that's about all we have there. Not going to spend too much more time on this. I want to grab the concrete that I do have here, at least finish the bottom part of the base, just so it's nice and topped off again. Okay, so normally when you, um, you know, the Horde Night is every seven days, so the last one we did was on day 35. Well, I had already recorded day 36 when I started asking you guys about uh, changing it to every 10 days. And so everybody was in agreement with that. So I don't know if I was on day 36 or if maybe I was on day 37 when I switched it. If it's 10 days from then, then it could either be day 45, 46, 47. So I'm not sure. I mean, we're only on day 41, so we still have plenty of time. But you see why I want to make sure I get it there just in case, you know, things go horribly wrong. All right, that's looking good. That is looking good, at least to me. That's all I want to do on that today. If I absolutely had to, that would be good enough to get started today. Let me see, I'm going to put all of you back up in here just so I know where you are and I can use you for future things. Put you back down here and real quick, let me see. I can put iron and, oh, I'll put my clay back in over there. Okay, so we can do this. You know, just temporarily I'm going to put you right there. I don't usually keep that stuff with me. Tools, I don't need lockpicks because I have the big lockpick. <sighs> that was just stupid. I was coming over here anyway. God. Exercise and futility, like normal. And I don't need the meat on me right here. Let's see, we're good on food. I'll go ahead and eat another one. Okay, now we need to go... Oh, we have our pistol. Almost walked off and left this. Okay, so let me take off this, the burst mod and that. Put this on here. Bam, bam. Just, you know, considerably better gun, basically. And now I have an extra should I need to repair that one. That is fan-freaking-tastic. I do, uh, probably what I'll end up doing, because I won't remember right at the moment, and I don't want to get all the stuff going, is I'll probably wait until nighttime when I can just sit there and let it churn. I do want to make a silencer for the Winchester because you put a silencer and a scope on a Winchester, it becomes almost a one shot kill and it's quiet, just like the pistol, you know, that sort of thing without making a crap ton of noise, but it does a lot more damage than the P225. So I can still switch to that on a real quick if I need to, if everything goes sour and I need to rapid fire. Uh, up close, you know, I still have the AK as well, so, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Yep, it's the exact same one. I'm pretty sure, I'm not even sure if you guys have even seen this episode yet. I mean, this might be one of those where <laughs> um, I'm doing this and you guys haven't even seen it yet. I'm just go ahead and start that over, check to see if there's any gas. I think, oh, did it set on both the broken that time? Rude. Maybe there's something in the trash this time. A shamich. I'm going to leave that there. Check the garbage truck again. Gunpowder's nice. And all right, let's see what we can see inside here. There's usually not too much. All we have to do is just clear the area. So, all right, let's see. Oh, I think I see Sylvia hanging out over there. See if we can't get a sneaky shot. Check your corners. All right, I see a glowing dude out there. Oh, she's a feral. She may not go down on one hit. Okay, she went down on one hit. Okay, now be real quiet. 
We're going to see if there's anybody hanging out behind the counter. The last time we snuck in over here, there wasn't anybody over here. And it doesn't look like there is now. Sweet. Avoid the noise trap. Let's see if Sylvia had anything good. Money! I've had some people ask me again what my thoughts are on the changes that Sylvia has received when Alpha 20 comes out. It's not out yet, obviously, but they have teased what she's going to look like. And they did make her look more like a modern nurse. So she has scrubs on instead of the old school nurse outfit like we know as of right now. Ooh, paintbrush. I can start decorating my house. Um, I will miss the look that we've had with Sylvia for the last eight years. Because, you know, if you've been around for a while, you know, I've been playing the game since Alpha 1 came out. So I have a expectation of what I think Sylvia looks like and her changing it is going to suck a little bit because she's been my girl since the very first alpha but I realize they're making HD textures of all of them and I also know that the uh, old school nurse outfit thing that like Sylvia's wearing now is not exactly modern but I can say that my mom's a nurse and when she graduated college and was going through nursing school, whatever, that is the outfits that nurses were wearing. She worked at the hospital for a couple years. She worked in, in an ambulance with paramedics and stuff during graduation. The outfit that Sylvia is wearing is what nurses had to wear. And so it wasn't that long ago. I mean, I can say my mom's been a nurse for like 30 years. So, you know, in some aspects, it has been a long time. But... Not so long that it's like, oh, well, that's, you know, some bygone era back in the 40s and they really need updated. It hasn't been that long. All right, so is there anything else? No, I'm just trying to see if there's anybody else on the same level. Are you destroyed again? You are. Nice, some forged steel. Hell yeah. Hello? I'm going to guess probably on the roof. But if they are, then they won't bother us in here. We can search. Come on, guess. Or nothing. That works too. I should probably go ahead and grab this. Free cobblestone. I don't have to make any more. Is there any other pallets in here? No. All right. Well, let's loot a little bit of the stuff that's down here at least before we jump up onto the roof and see what's going on. Use our handy dandy key here. Uh, 58. That one's better. And another welding torch. I have so many welding torches. It's not even funny anymore how many I've been getting. And for those who don't get them... I'm sorry, I'm trying not to rub it in, maybe. But I, I have a lot, so my bad. I mean, you're welcome to come get them if you want to. Well, that's going to go well. For a couple bolts, nice, nice, nice. Anybody back here? Hey, come here. Oh, you're decaying. I'll just save some ammo and just bait on you. Bait you like a redheaded stepchild, because you're redheaded. I can say that because I'm redheaded, and at one time I did have a stepdad, so I was a redheaded stepchild. No, he didn't beat me. <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be offended by this or not. I'm not because I don't get offended, but it's still funny. Uh, stuff. Okay. Oh, right. uh, wait. How many go down here? I don't think there's anybody down here with us last time. Just a working stiff tools. A note. We busted those apart last time. There's nothing behind them, so I'm not even going to bother this time. Another paintbrush. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we have any paint, but I know you can make it. But it's one of those, like, I don't think I'm going to waste the time making paint because I'm going to need the dyes for other things, you know? All right, let's uh, check the dumpsters. See if there's anything in here. Nada. Kim Station. Ooh, this one's actually in service. I mean, it's a, not really close to home and you know I have one in my house here's somebody going for a jog okay well, while you're doing your thing I'm gonna take this apart real quick uh -huh, I was hoping to be able to finish this before whoever it is made it through the fence because it's only just a wood panel fence hey it's Brittany how you doing oh no your leg fell off I hope you look for it you go that way I'll go this way Anything on in there? Sometimes there's some stuff inside there, but I don't specifically care. All right, last time they were sleeping on the other side of that air conditioning duct. Let's see if we... I mean, turning off my headlamp in the middle of the day is kind of pointless because... Well, <laughs> it's freaking bright outside. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can't get... Uh, Lois? Oh, yeah! Okay, see if we can't tiptoe right over here. I need to work on my stealth 
uh, skill set. That way I can do some sneaky beats. Alright, level 46, got three skill points. Oh, okay, well that didn't hurt him as much. Come here, you. That hurt, didn't it? And nut shot. Oh, hold on. Nut, nut shot. There we go. And we cleared it. Alright, we get this crap cleared out. Haul balls back down to the trader. See what he has to give us. It better be something good for clearing out the exact same thing twice. Take you, you, and you, and you, and scrap you, and I'm leaving the bones. I've got enough bones at home, and I honestly don't even need them anymore. Ammo! I will take that, though. Another schematic, uh, an auger. Oh, okay. Since I actually haven't done it yet, and I won't in this particular episode, and now that I have enough stuff to do it, what do you guys think I should unlock as the next skill class I'm going to work on? I mean, leave that in the comments down below. What? Here, I'll show you the ones I have just in case you're kind of new here and you had forgotten or something like that. Okay, so we did the farmer. We have it. We don't have the hunter. We have the laborer. We have the mechanic. We have the scavenger. We don't have the scientist. Or the security. We have the survivalist. And we don't have technology. So it's like technology, scientist, um, hunter, and that's it. It's one of those three, basically. So if I was going to make one, which one do you think would be most beneficial? I'm thinking science because I can go for this sort of stuff. But being able to get into the hunter, I think it is, allows me to be able to learn some stealthy stuff. So, I mean, because stealth would be fantastic to be able to do a bunch more damage with sneak. Look at that. 200% damage with sneak attacks. And sneak movement increased by 30%. That could be a game changer. Alright, let's have a look. Make sure there's nothing really terrible waiting for me as soon as I jump down. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, we didn't make the jump, but we didn't take any damage either. Nice. Alright, let's get over here to the trader and see if he's got anything good for us. We'll probably go ahead and grab another job. Just because we'll literally be there. We didn't get much from there. A little bit of ammo. Probably some things we can sell, but eh. Tis what it tis. Let's get back home. Man, I can't even tell you how much I can't wait to get a Eurocopter. You know, gyrocopter, but I like Euros. They're delicious. Because it, it would be so nice to be able to travel back and forth to the different traders that we have set up over there. Even that one, that direction, whatever, without having to drive over hills and valleys and rivers and all the stuff that we have to go through to get to Grandma's house. Listening. You You're listening. Plaster cast, plaster yeah. cast, scrap machete, wooden bow, muffled so connectors and what. I guess I'll take that so I can sell it because everything else I have is good. All right, let me sell a couple things that I don't need like that. I'm going to go ahead and sell the other torch because I don't need it. Sell the cash we got from Sylvia. We got a little bit of money. Not a whole lot. That's not worth selling. Can I sell one of my... I can sell one paintbrush. I don't need the other one. And that's about all I have left to sell here. You don't have you don't have much on you. No, you don't have much on you. I mean, you, those damn things are selling like hotcakes. I, I didn't buy anything. Okay, hold on. You were set on day forty-three. All right, all right. Then, on, on your way. On your way. Ew. Okay, nothing better. Crafting. Any work? Trade routes. Wait. Wait. Where's trade route level two? Is that the is that the same one you sent us to last time? Wait, where is where is this one going? Hang on. Did he give us another trade right here? Oh, it's right over there next to the reward. Okay. So we could technically go... And I don't know if this is going to go down. We may do that next video. Uh, we'll go down here to the next trade route. You know, further our reputation with this dork wad. And see what we have to do over here with the reward. Now, we went to the opening trade route last time. He took us way over here where Jin was at and we also found Eve who sent us on a you know suicide mission over here to the reward so I don't know that, that could be interesting I, I'm not going to get another job from you because what we'll, you just gave us one basically let's see it's seven o'clock let me run back home real quick and see what I need to do to get I do know I need to do some upgrades to the um, <laughs> traders base here because yeah, it took a little damage last time, and we have put zero effort into fixing that. So, that, that's another one of those. It is what it is. And again, I don't know what's going on with this right here. I broke it apart and fixed it. Uh, let's see, did the snare re get me anything good this time? A little bit of meat, maybe? 
and some aminal fat. I'll reset you. I don't have the seeds and stuff on me, but I will go ahead and grab the, these trees. Okay, so the apple tree's reset. I guess I can check to see if the banana tree and the coconut tree. I mean, they're they're both huge, so I guess I could try. Okay, all right. So you did reset, and you reset too. Okay, all right. So when they're a huge among us like that, they do reset. I got a couple coconuts, a couple bananas. Maybe I can make some banana bread. That'd be fantastic. I may have to flex my chef skills tonight. And technically, I don't... Y'all are growing. I, I mean, y'all are done, as far as I can tell. I really need to do some more farming, honestly. Let me see if I have any corn in here. I don't know if I've picked up any corn in a while. I need to do that. I don't think I have any corn on me at all. And I definitely don't have any corn seeds, do I? No, I don't think I have any corn seeds. I need to go find some basic level corn. You know what? I'll go ahead and reload this while I'm here. We're not going to do anything else for the rest of the day. We've had an okay level of adventure here. We are basically just going to finish tidying up the inventory. I'm going to get a silencer made. And we're pretty much going to call it good here. Let me. Can I try again from a different angle? Um, Maybe that worked? I don't know. We'll wait and see. Anyway... So yeah, day 42, I think what we may do is we may head over to the open trade route and see what the reward is. We're definitely not doing it, but it'd be nice to at least see what we have. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was entertaining. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.